Number 10. There are 69 species of sea snakes. So far, 69 species of sea snakes have been identified. However, given that 80% of the ocean is unexplored, there may be more species yet hiding away in the depths. These creatures may be massive in size. However, once discovered, they will likely be sorted into the pre-existing categories of true sea snakes and sea crates, unless the characteristics are so different that a new category has to be created. True sea snakes spend the majority of their life at sea. They are a subfamily of elephant snakes known as hydrophyni. They are completely adapted to marine life. As such, save for some exceptions, they are unable to move on land. They are ovoviviparous, meaning that the eggs develop for some time within the snakes and are birthed live. Sea crates, on the other hand, have adaptations that allow them to survive both on land and in water. Unlike sea snakes, they retain the wide ventral scales, which are characteristic of terrestrial snakes. They are oviparous, meaning that they lay their eggs instantly without any development taking place within the body. Number 9. Sea snakes differ from land snakes mostly by their tails. Land snakes have a tail that tapers into a point. With sea snakes though, they have a paddle-like tail, allowing them to navigate within aqueous environments. But let's discuss some other physical differences. Like sea crates, sea snakes lack belly scales intended to help snakes crawl on land. They are also usually flattened from side to side to provide a wider surface area for swimming. Land snakes, on the other hand, are rounder. Then they have salt glands for getting rid of excess salt from the marine environment. And they also have an elongated, unvascularized portion of the lung that goes most of their body length and is used for oxygen storage and buoyancy control. Sea snakes typically average a length of 4.5 feet, the typical length of a power cord with the largest ever species capable of reaching 10 feet. That's as long as a stepladder. Number 8. Sea snakes are some of the oldest living creatures. In captivity, individual sea snakes have a recorded maximum lifespan of seven years. In the wild, if they aren't hunted down by predators such as sharks, large bony fishes, and even birds, they may live longer. The first sea snakes began to evolve six to eight million years ago in Southeast Asia's Coral Triangle. In contrast, terrestrial snakes are thought to have evolved from burrowing lizards 150 million years ago in the Jurassic period. While terrestrial snakes live through the rise and fall of the dinosaurs, sea snakes are only old enough to have predated the existence of modern man. In any case, only one species of sea snake, the dusty sea snake, is listed as endangered, meaning that, barring any catastrophic event, they will continue to thrive for millions more years, acquiring more evolutionary adaptations in the process. Number 7. Sea snakes do not exist in the Atlantic Ocean. As the second largest of the world's oceans covering 20% of the Earth's surface, the Atlantic Ocean is one of the most biodiverse aquatic habitats. It contains creatures such as great white sharks, green sea turtles, sea turtles, rays, manatees, and dolphins. For all this biodiversity, sea snakes cannot be found in this region. Instead, they can typically be found in warm tropical waters of the Indian Ocean and the Western Pacific Ocean. A couple of species can even be found in oceanic and Caribbean waters. Sea snakes are known to not like regions of high salinity. As such, they can't be found in the Red Sea either. However, there's no specific reason why they're absent from the Atlantic Ocean. Their distribution across the world likely has to do where they evolve and the absence of migratory tendencies. In spite of their marine adaptations, sea snakes prefer shallow waters near land, around islands, and especially somewhat sheltered waters, as well as near estuaries. They may swim up river and have been reported as far as 100 miles from the sea. Some of them also inhabit marshes and swamps. Number 6. Sea snakes are highly venomous. Land snakes develop venom to help them hunt and protect themselves from predators. Seeing as sea snakes evolve from land snakes, they carry that adaptation with them and then some. Sea snakes are highly venomous. The baked venom of a sea snake is four times more deadly than that of a cobra. 
as deadly as this venom is, sea snakes are typically mild-mannered. They are reluctant to bite, although some species and some individuals form exceptions. In fact, because of the reserved temperament, local fishermen have no problem handling them. Most encounters with sea snakes are reported by divers, who are confused by the snakes as mates. Tim Lynch, an Australian marine biologist, has sounded out warnings that sea snakes may attack divers in such situations. This follows from the country's first sea snake death in 80 years, when a fisherman by the name of Harry Evans was killed by a sea snake while pulling a net onto a trawler in 2018. Sea snake bites are typically painless but cause rapid breakdown of surrounding muscle tissue and paralysis. Number 5. Sea snakes can die of thirst. Very few creatures that live within marine environments are perfectly adapted to live there. For example, sharks and whales have been known to drown by getting tired of swimming and failing to resurface for air, respectively. Seeing as sea snakes evolved from terrestrial organisms, they are even less suited for marine environments. They have been known to die of thirst from time to time. Sea snakes need to drink fresh water for their bodies to continue functioning. As such, they are known to visit water bodies on land periodically to quench their thirst. Otherwise, they also have the option of waiting for the rain to deposit fresh water droplets on the surface of the ocean for them to lap up. It's for this reason that sea snakes have more dense distribution in some terrestrial environments, such as marshes and swamps, and once looking for water on land, they are remarkably vulnerable and thus become significantly more aggressive. On land, while looking for water, they move very slowly and erratically. They also do not hesitate to bite. Number 4. Sea Snakes Are Deep Divers Sea snakes can dive deep into the ocean, deeper than some scuba divers. They can reach depths of up to 800 feet when hunting for prey. At those depths, they approach the bathypelagic zone, also known as the midnight zone. There, temperatures average 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Sea snakes dive into these regions in search of prey. Most creatures at these depths, because of the absence of light, do not even have eyes. These creatures are also adapted to slowly consume anything at all, meaning that the sea snakes could rapidly go from predator to prey. Examples of bathypelagic fishes include humpback anglerfish, bristlemouth fish, flabby whalefish, gulper eels, fangtooth, Sloan's viperfish, and black swallower fish. Dangers include not just the absence of light or the presence of dangerous play, but high pressures of up to 5,800 pounds per square inch. In any case, they mostly remain close to the surface where it's easier to find fresh water. Number 3. Sea Snakes Rely on Special Sensory Abilities Terrestrial snakes are some of the best predators available. They have great vision and hearing, in addition to chemoreception by tongue flicking. In water, though, all these senses become distorted, which means that the great hunting ability of most sea snakes cannot be attributed to these senses alone. Sea snakes have powerful vision. Their visual prowess is usually reserved for finding mates and hunting prey. Sea snakes also have vibratory detectors. Auditory brain responses to underwater vibration have been detected in certain species. They also use pheromones to attract both mates and prey. And if that isn't enough, some of them have photoreceptors on their tails, allowing them to detect light. Number 2. Sea snakes can hold their breath for a really long time. Unlike fish, sea snakes need to breathe in air to survive. Every single species of these creatures needs to return to the surface periodically if they are to continue to survive. This is partly what makes them vulnerable to certain seabirds. While most sea snakes return to the surface every 30 minutes to breathe, some sea snakes can stay submerged for up to 8 hours. The reason for these long subaquatic times is because of a special adaptation on the skin of these creatures. They can absorb a third of the oxygen they need from their skin, as well as getting rid of 90% of their carbon dioxide in the same manner. Number 1. Sea snakes are the only reptiles that give birth in the ocean. Although most reptiles are known to lay eggs, sea snakes give birth, and they give birth in the ocean. Their young are born live, and sometimes, this causes them to stick together in social groups. The reason for this is because they rarely visit land. 
As such, they incubate their snakes within their bodies. A great advantage of this is that the young do not get picked off by predators, unlike the eggs of other reptiles. Would you rather learn more about crocodiles or the great white shark? Let us know in the comments below.